what's that weird thing, you know, all the way to the left of all of your home screen apps? Let's customize the Today View on iPhone. A lot of folks ignore the Today View rather than taking advantage of it. Let's look at the anatomy of the Today View. At first glance, it just looks like a whole lot of rectangles. So it's a whole long thing of widgets that you can scroll, which is cool, but it's actually made up of two different types of widgets. I know, why? The top are basically home screen widgets. They're basically the widgets that you can put on any page of your home screen. Below the home screen widgets are classic widgets. These are the older types of widgets. It's actually a lot less intuitive, but the classic widgets have options for interactions that the home screen widgets don't. Home screen widgets are designed to be glanceable information, but the classic widgets, you can interact with them a little more. Let me show you the difference. There's an invisible line between the bottom of this forecast window and this Fantastical window. Below, here be dragons, or classic widgets. You can actually see the invisible line when you go into edit mode. The newer widgets are in jiggle mode, but below that, there's another OmniFocus widget, and it's not jiggling. That's a classic widget. The ones that says walk and forecast, these are OmniFocus widgets. It's just a reference list. Then you can see in these OmniFocus widgets that are the classic widgets, these ones have a lot longer list and I can check them off. I can't do that with this other list of tasks. They're just to look at. I can tap it and it will take me to the perspective, but that's not as convenient. Of course, these two types of widgets are also completely different from the lock screen widgets. Thanks, Apple. You can remove the home screen-like widgets with the little subtract button, the same way you would on the home screen. But for the classic widgets, we actually need to hit edit, customize, and hit subtract and remove, or add them back in. You could get rid of all of them and just have a kind of blank screen. Conversely, you could use it as a handy scroll through because it is kind of nice to be able to scroll through a whole page of widgets. If you see anything you don't want there, there might be a way to stop it or get rid of it. It's worth trying. You paid a lot of money for your phone. You deserve to have the phone look the way you want. Except apparently for the app library, which you can't turn off. What do you have on your today's screen? Is what's there on purpose or was it just there? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. Now you can actually see OmniFocus. Nope, can't show it like that. I spent a long time setting this up. I don't know why it's being a hat. Why? Wait, it says his name there. Why? Why can't you just sync up and not have the person's name that's gonna get me in trouble? Got some piece identity on there and the walk tasks. But it won't update. I'm a little cranky today. Are you ready? Are you ready to not show his name? No, you're not ready to not show his name. I, I actually cleared out all the ones so it wouldn't have anything it wasn't supposed to, but somebody scheduled since then and so it just appeared. And these don't update until they just feel like it. Widgets don't update until they just feel like it. That's, that's how they work. And is his name still there?